Hi Peggy, I thought I'd take a minute to record a quick uh, answer to one of the questions which is about the click boxes and you're dead right that if you add a click box to a, um, a slide um, more often than not it doesn't actually pause it where you want and we're going to put a quick example so say I've got two slides here so let me just duplicate this I'm going to pop a second slide on now if I was to have some bits and pieces going on in this screen and let me just pop some shapes on there we go and on the second slide let's pop a different shape so say for instance this is slide one and this is slide two if we want to stop the user the slide will automatically going from one to two we can add a click box and what we do is we would put interactions click box that's going to pop as a, a standard click box on the screen and we come down here and we say to take off success failure and hint uh, we also make sure that the hand cursor is unchecked otherwise people will instinctively roll their mouse over it and they'll, they will start clicking it and they'll wonder what it does um, and make sure that on success we take that off as well and we put no action now what that will basically do that acts like a pause button that as you can see down here that on three seconds it's not going to go anywhere now the difference being say for instance your timeline is actually 10 seconds and you actually want to pause this at a certain time so let's jiggle this around a little bit so maybe we have two types of content one's going to sit over here and one that sits on the left hand side and you want one to come in after the other once the user actually clicks on something well this is slightly different so on this box up here if we were to roll this over I'm just going to drag it over to the top of that one there it's a little bit uh, a little bit rough around the edges but there is also another option that we need to check and that is when we go over to the we've selected the click box I'm going to come over to options and I'm going to click that and we can see here it says stop slide audio now if you click that it gives you two options when clicked or when paused for this particular piece we want when paused and what's going to happen is it's going to play the timeline it's actually going to stop at three seconds but it's also going to stop any narrative that's playing as well and then unless you check this checkbox up here what you'll find is it will it will pause the timeline but the narrative will continue which isn't going to work so well if your narrative starts off with something like uh, let us take a moment to talk about the, the black circle now click the black circle before we move on now we're going to talk about the, um, the, black, uh, the black square obviously you do need that, that, that narrative to, to physically pause there and that's where you'll need to implement this particular slide option there so hopefully Peggy that answered your question and now I'm going to jump into the emails and start looking at how we can answer a question about state views